Here we are in February of 24, and we wanted to make a short video put on YouTube of our documentation of our current progress on our 1958 Plymouth Fury, obviously named Christine after the movie set. But it's a gorgeous car. We're about 99% finished. The only things we got left to finish on the car are tune the fuel injection, alignment of the front end and the drivetrain, fix a handful of leaks. We're also going to do uh, sanding and buffing and body correction on the paint to make it shine and glow. Still looks great right now, but uh, it, it could use a lot of buffing and, uh, to, to take it to the next level. To start with, um, the previous owner uh, of this car, who currently lives in Florida, uh, started this project in 08. So about 15 years ago, worked on the car for about 15 years. We decided to buy it um, when it came for sale. Um, I actually talked him into selling it to me, was a, is a true answer. Uh, of, it didn't really come for sale in the market, but just really, we really wanted a Christine car. And uh, he was at a point to where he was kind of getting burnt out, which a lot of people do. I don't blame him um, for this, but I want to give him 95% of the credit for this beautiful car. It started with a 1958 Plymouth Fury as the platform of the build. Uh, the 58 uh, Fury was in Florida and it was really in bad shape. The only thing that's remaining on this car right at current date that's from the Fury is the uh, VIN tag, the uh, passenger side quarter panel, all that's Fury, the drivetrain, the Golden Commando engine uh, that was original to the Fury title is uh, actually sitting over there on the floor. So it, it is a great pedigree for this car. The interior of the car, uh, the frames and seats and all that, that was also the original Fury that was all rotted out and rusted uh, that we restored to red as a, a Plymouth um, uh, Fury red interior that you'll see here in a little bit. So our version of what we call this car is a deluxe Christine. And meaning it's, it has the same traits of the Christine car with our favorite features that we like in general. And one of the neatest things I think we did to the car is put factory fuel injection on them. This is uh, the fuel injection emblems that you see here on the side that we had custom fabricated to match the 1958 uh, Plymouth fuel injection. This car actually could have could have been ordered with fuel injection in 58. The ones that had fuel injection were uh, removed because they didn't work. So there's no really cars out there that I know of, and I'm far from a Plymouth expert, that have fuel injection on. And to be truthful with you, this is the second Plymouth I've, I've owned, and I haven't seen a real Plymouth in real life until we bought our first one, which was an original Keller Fury about a year ago. Um, and then our heart wasn't in an original Keller, so we decided to sell it and buy this project. We really like the red Christine. The red is the key to the car, in my opinion, and I think most people's opinion. So I'm definitely not a Mopar guy. I'm more of a Chevy guy. Built a lot of those. I know that car really well. I don't know a lot about this, but I'm challenged to, to learn. And I uh, think we've learned from a lot of good people that are, uh, that are experts on this car, you know, in the forums and what have you. So let's just do another walk around. Fuel injection, obviously, is a cool part. The previous owner put new inserts on that are from James Rao in New Jersey. They look really, really nice. We like the gas cap lids. We also put fender skirts on it. Had the, um, the stone guards all redone. Dual antennas is a must for us. We put those on there as well. Just some neat touches. Obviously, we had to have all the bumpers re-chromed. We also put the original Fury emblems back on after they were chromed to give it a nice touch. See the bumper? We also put a Christine license plate that came from uh, um, Germany on it as well. One of the things that we have that are really cool from the previous owner is this right here, which is the original bill of sale from the Fury back in the day when it was born. I think it was in October of 22 of uh, 57 is when it was born. There's the build card and there's the numbers from on from the engine that shows that this VIN number had a Golden Commando 350 in it. The, in, the engine in the car right now is a uh, 361. The previous owner, one of the reasons why he sold the car is he had problems with the original engine uh, not running. And here it is right here on the floor. You can see it, there's the matching number 
L350, and there's the, the number right there, the serial number of the engine that's actually on the build car for this car. So the pedigree on this car is a 1958 Plymouth Golden Commando Fury uh, engine. Um, everything else on the car, uh, except the items that I explained, are all from seven other cars to complete the car uh, to make it what it is today. So let's, uh, let's start up front. We also got LED halo lights that are red if we want to turn those on. We also got LED go lights. We just recently added this third bumper, uh, or the, the second bumper, I should say, on the bottom here. It's a good touch, very rare item. Here's under the hood. Uh, this, the, the previous owner put factory AC from a 58 Suburban that's on this car. There's the AC compressor. You can see right there, it's got uh, chromed valve cover, just like the movie set that say 350 uh, cubic inch on them. We also chrome the uh, air tank, has the classic Quaker State uh, decal on it. Also has four wheel disc brakes all the way around that still has the factory look that you see right here on it, but it's four wheel, four -wheel disc power brakes. And what you look underneath here, it looks like two regular carbs, but it's not. That's a sniper fuel injection that makes this car run really easy like a modern car. It's our added touch that we put to it uh, that I think uh, is pretty popular. Also use one of these uh, emblems to put up there. A lot of people don't like it, but I enjoy it. It just kind of says it's a Fury built by Christine, um, or built for Christine, I should say. Uh, MSD ignition, you had to run a modern ignition with the fuel injection. They had the right uh, electronic controls. A standard uh, distributor will not work. So there's the underside of the car. It kind of has a, a factory look uh, that gives it a good touch. Over here is our engine stand that a good friend of mine that paint signs made. This right here is the original uh, gold covers that you also see in the movie set in the very beginning. This right here is the Fury carburetors that were all restored from Carter, and that's the dual intake sitting on top of this. So here's what the car started as, a 1958 Plymouth Fury that was born in, on 10-22 of 57. So that's when the, that car was actually born. Some highlights of the car is it's a 350 Golden Commando. We're gonna rebuild that engine that's on the floor and put it in there. We're also gonna put the 727, the newer torque flight, four wheel disc brakes, Fury uh, red interior, and it also has factory air. Here's some cool uh, movie set stuff, as you can see. Here's a sign in the back. Here's the crushed car that's pretty cool. Here's a, a really neat model where they uh, destroyed the car, the car in the movie with hand, sledgehammers. There's the uh, tractor scene where they, the, the high lift is actually running over the car. The actual blood uh, V that's there as well. One of the cooler things is this right up here. This is an original Fury V with a gold medallion behind it that is on the original car that looked like this. So that car out of the factory looked just like this. Our original Fury looked just like this that we owned, but we were just not a big fan of that color and had to switch over to red. Come around over here. Let's check out the interior. So inside here is all what we call is Fury Red interior. You can see the door panels. This is a factory, uh, a Fury uh, type of uh, uh, fabric that we put on there to kind of emulate the original Fury. We actually made these aluminum inserts that go on the side to kind of match the inserts that Raul did back in the day for the sides of this. Kind of gives it a good touch. It also has a killer James Rowell uh, gauge cluster that you'll see light up here in the middle. We also built a custom console that's really cool. We also kept the original touches of the headliner that's in there. As you can see back here, it looks all original, but it's better than original. It's got sewed uh, vinyl that had the same lines on it. You see the back seats back here, the emblem, what have you on there. It's also got a killer sound system with an amp and subwoofer behind the seat in the trunk as well. Factory AC that you can see right there on the car as well. All the original controls are in place. So when you look in this car, 
It's like looking in a 1958 Plymouth Fury that's red and an upgraded version. So that's why we came up the name with the Deluxe Christine. Here's a cool uh, sign that we made out of old parts put up there uh, that we like. It's even got the bumper wings on it that are actually fiberglass. Uh, just a really cool setup to make the garage look cool. Inside the trunk, you see the red uh, inside here looks really cool. We also uh, made Fury uh, side panels that match exactly like the outside. And this carrying case right here that you see here and here, turn this around. That carrying case right there holds that sign. It all gets broken down in small pieces. And that engine stand actually sits right here inside the car. So when we go to car shows, uh, we take this whole sign and everything with us. We haven't uh, tried it yet, so hopefully it'll all fit and not weigh the car down too heavy in the back. But you kind of get the idea. We also got killer LED glow lights throughout, so we can turn those lights off underneath there. And you kind of get the idea of the trunk. We still have paint correction to go. Um, but it just needs uh, some buffing and uh, polishing. Fix a lot of the little chips that were done over the 15 years to really get the car to pop. We also tinted the windows. The windows have legal tint on them. We also put a dark uh, band going across the top as well. Um, just to kind of give it an added touch. It's a beautiful car. We're looking, looking forward to enjoying it. And special thanks to everybody that helped me out with this car, starting with the previous owner that lives in Florida. Uh, currently and is working on other projects so that car right over there is actually going to be a twin to this car this car is named lee and uh, it's going to be a red christine with almost the exact same features as this car and it also has factory air and a big block in it as well so we're going to do one more quick little walk around and we're going to take this car outside um, and then do a video shoot outside with the video going so you can see it out in the sun. One other real cool thing before we uh, head out over here, here's all the license plates of the cars and some special things that I've built, you know, of all the fancy cars over the years. That's a, a 69 Camaro named after my late mother, Sharon. And then obviously you see here's a Christine sign. We actually play in the Christine movie. Here's George LeBay in that movie right there, actually playing his background. So just a cool setup inside our garage. Love that guy right there. Hopefully he gets elected in 24. We're praying that he does because our country needs him. Anyway, enough about the political stuff. But anyway, you get the idea of Christine. And let's open up the garage door and start it up and take her out. Here comes the sun on the car. It's beautiful out in the sun. Let's kind of push this out of the way a little bit. Special thanks to John Lloyd, who's a sign painter, did a phenomenal job on the signs. And everything else just one other peek on that and let's take this car outside so let's see if it starts up it's a cold start so let's turn the key on let's turn the uh, gauge cluster lights on you see the James Ryle green LED lights that are in the car which is really cool there's the sniper fuel injection as you see right there console in the car so I'm gonna hold the camera right here. Start it right up. I do have the exhaust open, that's why it's so loud. Hit this button to close it up. That's 
quiet as a church mouse. But we like it loud. Also has the killer red light on the e-brakes on. Roll this window down here. And there's the killer push button. The engine's just currently in startup mode, so you can see we haven't put any miles on it. It's got 0.03 on it. And this has been in the car probably since the uh, about 10 years. So here we are outside in the sun. Finish this video. Sounds killer with the fuel injection and how the previous owner built the, can the engine. He said it's pretty much stock, but sounds like it's a lot more than stock to me. out here in the sun but you get the idea what it looks like in here there's a better look of our killer console you kind of see how it works right there Fuel injection on the car. Factory AC that blows fast and cold. Killer Fury, or Plymouth emblem back there. get some distance shots here. exhaust quiet here real quick here so everybody can hear how quiet it is but you get the best of the both worlds good close now you can't even hear the car hardly run as quiet as a church mouse 
Sounds like a nice Sunday driver now. So you got mean as hell or a nice Sunday driver in the subdivision. Combination of both. There she is, our beautiful 1958 Plymouth Fury we call Christine.